Okay, now working on my next diorama. I'm going to do something with an ocean theme. So, nice, just simple. This is kind of what I'm looking to do. And we'll come up on the top so you can see it from up here. Just a little bit of the seahorses. May have to work, oh, there we go. A little snail, a clam, and some plants. Now these fish will, once I get the resin in, sit up. They won't be sitting down on anything. And I will add a couple more of them in. But this kind of gives me an idea of what it will look like. Like that, as I pour my resin in, then I can set the fish on top so they can look like they're floating. So this is the start, my dry run. The finished product may not look exactly like this, but it gives me a point of, to start with and lets me know what it'll look like. So we're gonna get started on the new. This is the gravel for the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of the resin into it. And I did remember this time I need the larger stick to mix it up. And I am speeding up through here so you don't have to stand there and watch me just stir. And into the mold. Okay, I still don't have enough resin, but now that I get it out of the cup, I can pour a little bit more resin into the mold. Again, speeding up a bit, and I needed to add a bit more resin to the sand. Didn't have enough the first time. I kind of want to be careful here that I don't get it up on the sides. It's real fun to clean it off, like I have it right here. Kind of tap it like you would sand on a beach to get the liquid to even itself out. Now before I started this, I went back to the dry run to give myself a quick course on what I had planned to do. And you notice I have gloves on both hands because I will be having my hands stuck down into this stuff. And I'm going to start putting in the seahorses. They've got little bases. I want to kind of bury those so you really don't see them. I want you to kind of see that it's just seahorses floating. So now that's in there. Move a little sand and get it down on the bottom and bury that base up. So that's one. Got three to put in. Again, speeding up a bit, it's a tedious process putting in the three seahorses first, burying the bases down into the sand. And then right now I'll be starting to put in the little conch shell and the clam. After that, then I start putting in all the greenery. Again, rearranging so it looks nice once I get it in there. And going close to the way I had it done in the dry run. That's why we do a dry run so I can get an idea of what it's going to look like. And slowly getting the last pieces in. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and pour in the remainder. Oh, I need color. Excuse me. Color in a teeny bit of glitter. So move this back. My color. Like I said, I want even less in this one. So you're only going to get a drop and a half for that much in the glitter. A 
finding my tweezers. And I'm going to put in one and a half little tweezer gulps. See, it's not much, but it'll show up. Oh, sorry. Again, speeding up a little bit. Trying to do it slowly so I don't put any bubbles in. You'll see me switch to the larger stir because I can do it more gently and not put any bubbles. No. Just gently. And remember, it will self level out. But to give it a helping hand, I'll go ahead and just gently pour. And the reason I'm not doing a whole lot, too much resin at one time gets very, very hot. If I was to actually fill this full container up now, the resin would get hot enough to literally melt all the rubber pieces, plastic pieces in here. But by putting a little bit in at a time, it does not heat up that high. and therefore it's safer. And that is it. Just kind of give you a side view. Move the camera. You can see I didn't fill it up that much. Now it may have looked like it was more resin than I used in the test, but this is a bigger container so it's spread out further. And that's why I could put a little bit more in than I did the other. And again, there's the top view. Move this over so you can see it. So the actual diorama is now on its way and hope it'll turn out good. Didn't show the pouring. It was basically like all the other ones. Very little color, very little glitter, but it's looking good. In fact, if I hold it up to the light, definitely can see through it. Not too much glitter. So I think I've got the process down right. And you can see right here, kind of right where my finger's at, is one of the fish. It's loose right now. Well, as you can see, that one's fallen over. I'll straighten it up before we do it. I will now put the fish in to make it look like they're floating on top, or actually swimming inside. And I will pour the next layer. I'm not going to show you that either, because you've seen it. I'm just simply pouring liquid. But I'll show you what it looks like when it cures. Hello. Got the next stage has been poured and cured. I don't know if I showed it to you or not before I did it. Yeah, I think I did. But got the fish floating in here. There's one. There's one. I'm trying to find where I'm hiding the other one. And there's the other one, if you can see them. And I've got two more ready sitting on top that'll go into the next layer that I'll pour. And I think the color that I'm adding and the amount of glitter is just right. Cute little seahorses. And you can see this snail and the clam. And look down from the top. Again, I'm not going to show you mixing up the epoxy and pouring the next layer. You've seen me pour layers. I'll just show you what it looks like when it's finally finished. I think one more layer, cover those last fish. Let it cure, and I'll take it out and show you the finished product. I thought one more pour would do it, and I thought I had enough resin in here, but I can feel the tip of their fins on these last two fish. So I'm going to need just a little bit more resin to cover them up. But as you can see, it really looks neat. Those fish definitely look like they're swimming in there, getting glare from the sun.
But yeah, this looks nice. So one more tiny little pour. Again, I will not show it to you. One more pour, one more curing. So tomorrow we'll take it out of the mold and I'll show you what the final project looks like. All right, it's finished. It's looking good. Got that extra little layer on it. So it definitely makes the fish look more like they're floating in the water. And now to get it out of the mold. So open up the side a little bit. This is soapy water. That's all it is. Just a little Dawn and some water. And I'm working the water down onto the sides. And put a little bit more on top to work down in. Basically, this kind of lubricates the sides. Gets rid of those air pockets that hold it in place. And even one-handed. It pops out. I'll kind of give it a good wash. I'll give it a rinse off. And look at it outside the mold. And I'm liking it. Of course, it's still a little wet. Love the glitter from the top. Now I'll give you just some straight views of each four sides. Side one. Side two, you can see the way it definitely makes it look like the fish are swimming. You can see the seahorses and the plants. The next side. Not too much glitter. Looking good. And the final side. And then I'll give you kind of like the corner views. And come up and give you a top view. And that's what all that hard work was for. A beautiful art piece. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. And if you enjoyed my video, please press the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And... The notification bell so you know when my next video is out. Thank you.